experience, an amazing experience. It's my first year um, here in person. I attended last year online. Um, it was still interesting, but still uh, online experiences are a completely different animal. So being here uh, with everyone who are working towards the same goal has been absolutely inspirational um, in terms of networking, in terms of uh, exchanging the expertise. And to be honest, um, it kind of gives a lot of motivation when you see how much people are passionate about what they do and how much they care um, from everywhere. They come from all over Europe and um, they're extremely passionate and they're all working towards the same objective. So it's, it's been a, a truly motivational experience, I think, being here and it kind of gives you the energy and the fuel to, to move forward, although it's, it can be a bit frustrating, um, but it's, uh, it's very, very motivational. Perhaps we need to uh, focus more on how we can you know, include uh, practitioners, how we can include uh, grassroots organizations and migrants themselves within the setting the agenda with uh, selecting the topics that we want to talk about and also in creating solutions. Um, I think that we need to move a bit beyond consultation. Um, and to go uh, towards maybe the co-design or um, an integrated uh, system of viewing migrants and people who work in migration as true equal partners. Um, because policy making can be a bit frustrating and I think that a bit of focus on uh, what's happening on the ground and uh, you know, on, perhaps on a local or national level and actually including these people within the uh, decision making processes, I think it can give them a lot of motivation again, a lot of inspiration um, and it will close the loop in the policy process, I believe. Um, so let's move a bit beyond consultation to be equal partners uh, in this process. I think it would add uh, a great deal to, uh, to the process itself.